Hello, welcome back to the Sermon Podcasting mini course. This is lesson four. In this lesson, we're going to talk about preparing the file. We're going to start out with editing out silence. We're going to talk about adding an intro and an outro. We're going to talk about tagging the file. And we're going to talk about encoding the file. So let's get started. Okay, so here we are in the Closer Sharing Sermon Recorder. And after you record a sermon, if you hit the edit button, it brings you to this screen right here and it allows you to edit the information and edit the audio. So in this particular sermon, we started a little early and they called some missionaries up to talk to them. And we don't want that in the final recording online, so we need to find where the pastor starts and delete all the beginning. So that's what we're going to do. So we are going to go... Playing. Hold on to the rail. Thank you. It worked hard for days. All right, there she is. I know what my pastor's voice sounds like, so I'm going to go find it where it's just him. Let's see what we got in here. For those that are not aware, they're That's going to. Him. No. Those securing Still them talking from, about it. Or as you connect with those ministries. I'm just that clicking are, where. Turn with me to the. Amen. So I'm excited. I've been praying and looking forward to what God. I'm just clicking where different places to see what's going on God there. will do that are around us in our communities. Amen. Turn with me to the second letter to Timothy. Second Timothy, the second. Okay, that's it right there. That's where the start of the message is. So I'm just going to leave a little bit at the beginning there and just start selecting backwards here. And just let it um, roll all the way to the beginning. And then I'll just hit the cut. Okay, so now if I hit play from the beginning, I'll just hit stop and play. Second Timothy, the second chapter. The whole so that starts right where we want it to. And I happen to know that this ends well and there's no other um, dead times in there. Now, once you have it edited, you can just hit upload. And it saves the file off. It takes just a little bit. This is a, about an hour-long sermon. Now, the workflow I tend to try to use is start it on time, end it on time, and post it, and you don't have to do anything at all. Um, sometimes there's extended prayer in the middle or something like that that you need to cut out, but um, I just try to do it as clean as I can, and I would say... 85% of the time I don't touch anything, but I just hit upload at the end, and I'm done. And the beauty about this here is you don't have to wait on this to save because it's going to upload it right when you're done and all the posting will be done for you and all that um, extra work will be done for you. Just set your computer to go to sleep. Now here it is, uploading it to the internet, uploading it to the Closer Sharing site, and it will automatically add an intro and outro that you chose and post it on the site and list it on your website if you have the widget installed. So all that stuff's happening for you on the back end. And I usually walk away right when I hit upload because my computer will go to sleep and it'll be ready for me next time I come in on the next Sunday or Wednesday night. So there we are. We're done. We're back to, we're back to ready to record another sermon. So that's all there is to it with the Closer Sharing Sermon Recorder. Let's flip over to Audacity, and I can show you how to do it over there. Okay, so this is the same file loaded up in Audacity. And let's um, zoom in here so we kind of have the same thing going on, and we can see where we're at here. So if we start playing this, we'll hear it. Brother Kevin. Joe's and the money that... Yeah, I'm telling next to God's hand is... Mm -hmm. and well, I'm, I, I, along with these come needs the church the box name second Timothy the second chapter the okay so there's the spot right there so um, I want to do the same kind of thing there and select all the way to the end and we hit the cut. Boom. Okay, now we hit play. 
Second Timothy, All right, second chapter. Same thing. Okay, same thing there now. So now we have the same edited file that we had in the other one. Now this is in Audacity format, so we'll have to save it off just like the sermon recorder did. But one thing that it would not happen here is we would not get the intros and outros and we don't know where we're uploading it and all that stuff. So we're gonna go through the rest of that when you're using Audacity and how to do that. Okay, so let's talk about adding an intro and outro. Um, if you're not doing this to your sermons, you really, really should be. An intro and an outro gives you a chance to talk to your listener. So anybody that comes and listens to your sermon, you get a chance to invite them to service. You get a chance to speak encouragement to them. You get a chance to tell them to share with their friends, to come back and listen to more sermons, to join you in person. You get so many opportunities here to actually talk to the listener. So you really should be doing this. So let's show you how to do it. Now, um, Closer Sharing does it automatically for you. So every week you don't have to do this, but if you're doing it in Audacity, here's how you do that. So I have an intro and outro that we use at our church. And what you wanna do, you wanna grab that and just drag it and drop it right on the blank space down here. So there we go, I have it in two tracks now. This is the intro and this is the other. So let's zoom in here so we can see what's going on. So let me plus, okay, so there's the intro and there's the sermon. So they're overlapping now, that's not gonna work very well. Um, looks like I do have a little bit more than I want there because I was zoomed so far out. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that. And now I'm going to, what you wanna do is select from the end to the very beginning and then in tracks, you go to align tracks. Now start to selection end. So it's gonna move the start of this track to the end of the selection. So let's click that. Now you see it bumped it all the way to there. So now we have our intro and our sermon starting. Let's see what that listens, what that sounds like. Welcome to New Horizon Fellowship's Sermon Podcast. It's our hope that the following message will help you to grow in the grace and knowledge of Jesus Christ. For more teachings, visit our sermon page at newhorizonfellowship.com. Second Timothy, the second chapter. Okay, there we have, there we have a, a nicely produced beginning of a podcast. So let's go to the end and do this same thing. So um, what we're going to have to do is drag the, drag the outro out in drop it. So now we have it in here also, but we want to take this and move it way to the way to the end. So let's um, we should be able to go um, tracks again, align, start to selection end. So that moved that all the way to there. So we're getting closer to where we want it. We're going to have to move it a little bit more. Let's go all the way to the end here and put the cursor there so it will it will be working in that area. There we go. And now zoom in. Okay, now we can see all that. And I haven't totally done this, so let's see what happens when we get it lined up right at the end there and run that command again. Uh, line track, sort, start to selection end, and there we go. It added what we needed on there. And now what I would do is go ahead and select all the rest of this end and cut it. Okay, so now we have a produced end. We should. So let's start it right there and hit play. For the academy, Brother Carl, if you would like to help, going to be on the 30th. We need to pre-sell. Please see Brother Carl. He'd explain them to you. God bless you. Thank you for listening to New Horizon Fellowship's Sermon Podcast. We would love it if you joined us in person. Our services are Sundays at 10 a.m. and 6 p.m. and Wednesdays at 7 p.m. We are located at 1518 Washington Avenue, Evansville, Indiana. For more sermon recordings, visit our sermon page at newhorizonfellowship.com.
So you can see that gives you a chance to talk to the listener and invite them to church and all kinds of stuff. So you really should be doing this. Even if you produce your own um, in-house and just have the pastor sit down and and say a piece and get creative and put some music behind it, whatever. Um, I do have a source for these. If you are interested and you wanted to contact me, I could um, get you hooked up. But um, there we have a produced podcast. So now we have this. is still an Audacity format, though, and it's in three tracks, so that's not going to do us a whole lot of good. So what we need to do is encode it and tag it. So that happens at the same time in Audacity. So let's um, let's do that. So we want to go File and we want to go Export and Export as MP3. That's what we got set up in the earlier lesson. So let's um, just going to put it out on my desktop for now. And this is already called sermon whatever because this is the one I imported. But let's um, do demo. Let's call it demo sermon. And on this, uh, mine's already set to constant because um, I was messing with it earlier. But I think it starts out at preset. But I, I would suggest you go to constant and choose around 64 kilobits per second because... For a spoken word, that is a pretty good and a pretty good sounding file, and you're not you're not looking for full bass range and all that like an audio file, like a music file. You're looking for very good intelligibility and a decent size file, so that works out really well. And joint stereo makes it um, puts the same thing on both sides, so that's what we want there. And then well, let's just go ahead and hit save here, and we'll see what we get. Your tracks will be mixed down into a single mono channel and exported to the file. Yep, that's what we wanted to happen. So we hit OK. And now it's popped up on the other screen. It pops up and asks me some information. So now we'll have to add some uh, the information. And you artist name is Pastor Smith. Track title is um, I would give it the sermon name, same thing as a sermon, so demo sermon, and the album name is your church name, I'm just going to say Grace Church, whatever your church's name is, the year, it automatically put that in there, genre, I always call this sermon, and or whatever comments or whatever you want to add in there. So that's what you get as far as tagging. That way that stuff will come up when somebody plays it in their in a in a player or in a podcaster or in that type of stuff. So and then you hit OK. And now it is writing this down into a MP3 file. And this will take about the same amount of time as it does in the sermon recorder. But in the sermon recorder, if you don't do any editing, it goes straight to upload and doesn't have to do this part. And also, in the sermon recorder, you don't have to wait on the different sections because it goes and does everything in succession and then uploads everything at the end automatically. There's one thing about doing it in Audacity is you have to wait on all this stuff to happen and you have to do things after each step. Um, like next, we're going to talk about how to get it up online. And so you have to wait around to upload it to your website or your host, which we'll talk about in a later lesson. And while we're waiting, I will mention that whether you're using Audacity or GarageBand or a DAW digital audio workstation that you have, this process is all the, pretty much the same. So other than using the sermon recorder, all these same steps apply. So there we go. The encoding is done and we're ready to find a place to put it which we'll talk about in the next lesson. Okay so as always if you have any questions about this lesson or any of the earlier lessons don't hesitate to email me at dan at and I'll do my best to help you out.